Hello everyone, my name is Lucky and this video is about a tutorial on how to paint the sky and how it affects our surroundings. So let's start with a simple landscape here. Everything is always on mid-zone until light casted on it. And the color of the light always affects the colors of the surroundings. Now after that, let's apply the ambient occlusion. So for those of you who isn't really familiar about the ambient occlusion, it is basically the darkest area of the shadow. We all know the color of the shadow isn't black, but in reality, there is always black in the shadow. And you can always find it in the corners. Try to look around. So how this ambient occlusion exists? In reality, light doesn't bounce once. It bounces multiple times until it loses its brightness. And that's the area where the ambient occlusion appears. Now let's start with our first sky example, the high noon. The color choice are light cyan, cyan, and the light blue. Of course, there's always a suggestion here on Clip Studio Paint, but sometimes I just want to pick my own colors based on my own observation. Of course, I have to put a little clouds on the side so that it will be less boring. During the high noon, the sunlight is 90 degrees above us, but of course, it doesn't apply to every country. So now the light creates a shadow 180 degrees below us. Now you might wonder why is it blue? That's because of the sky. Sky also creates a light, but not as strong as our sunlight, which is the direct light. Wherever the areas the light can't hit, that's the area where the skylight comes in. Because of the massive area the sky acquired, the skylight will be able to reach the shadow. Now that's not it. We have to change the blending moods of the shadow layer to multiply, then decrease the opacity to 60% or whatever you like the most. Now of course if there's a shadow, there's a light. In this case, I'll be choosing the light yellow because the sunlight has a yellow subtle color. Now change the blending mode to glow dodge. Now decrease the opacity to 25. Now of course I created a new layer of grass with the same effect but with a higher opacity and considered as highlights. Now it also affects the distance background. I applied a little blue on the mountains to create depth. So why blue? Air isn't really entirely transparent. It also absorbs light and reflects light. There's also dust in it. Light scatters everywhere. That is why the distance object has a less intense colors. So basically that's it for a high noon example. But what if we have to put some clouds above? If you're going to put the clouds on this wide landscape, make sure to apply a perspective on it to make it look more three-dimensional. Now of course we have to apply the shadow, same as before. Now from here you can start rendering it properly. These are just rough demonstration on how to get the right color on everything. So now let's proceed to another sky example. The next one is simpler, a rainy kind of weather. In this weather, you don't have to put a shadow, only the ambient occlusion. It is because there's no direct light exists, only a filtered light. Everything looks desaturated because it's in mid-tone. Saturation exists with the light. During this kind of weather, the sky is full of clouds, and there will be a light from the distance unless there will be a huge storm ahead. The color choice is light gray to dark gray. Make sure your gray has a little blue on it. Now let's proceed to the next example, the sunset. For the sky, the color choices are yellow, red-orange, pink, green, and blue. Well, it is actually going to midnight blue. So how did I came up with these colors? There's actually a scientific explanation about the red. Sometimes there's even a pink mixture on it, maybe because of the red-blue combination. There's also a subtle green on it. If you look closely to the sunset, transition going to blue, just look closely, you can see a green on it. That's probably an effect from yellow to blue. Sometimes you can get rid of the pink and stick to the yellow, red, green, and blue. Now let's put the sun. Now put dark red to the mountain because the light scattering is more on red. Now let's apply the shadow. Now the shadow is reddish, but I added a little pink on it because of the dark sky, which also contributes a little bit of color and also makes it more beautiful. 
Now the light is yellow-orange. I am doing the same blending modes, just like what I did to the high noon. Let's add the clouds to make it look more interesting. The cloud is mostly yellowish, but you have to add a little bit of blue behind it to create more contrasts, and that color came from the sky behind. I also added a second layer of clouds to make it more better. Just keep on adding necessary effects to make it more interesting and just make sure not to overdo it. Now for the night sky. We can add stars by using the airbrush effect spray. I added a moonlight to it. The color choices are two shades of midnight blue. The distance mountain is appeared to be dark. In this example, I use blue most of it. But it is interesting if you add some little purple on some areas, so that it will look like less monochromatic. Now the distance background is more on greenish blue. Let's cast a shadow to the tree. Of course, the light from the moon isn't really that bright. But of course, you can add highlights from the moon. Now let's add the clouds. The color is mostly blue, but you can add a little bit of purple. And now you can add the grass. Now we have the last example. A night sky without a moonlight. The color choices are the same, but it's mostly dark. The stars are twice as more as the previous one. That is because the absence of light. Now add the Milky Way. The galaxy sighting is not actually visible if there's a moon. And you can only see it visually if there's no light in the surroundings. Like completely dark. But the camera will be able to see it by using the long exposure shot. Now the background will be totally dark. But even though it's dark, there's still a little light from the stars. Now the foreground is very dark because of the brightness from the Milky Way. But still you don't leave it full black. And that's all for today's tutorial and I hope you learned something from me. There will be more tutorials in the future so please subscribe and leave a like if you like this video. You can also leave a suggestion if you like, just comment down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook or DeviantArt. Just search Lucky Kun Art to any of these social media platforms and you can find me easily. So thank you for watching and have a good day.